Hi, my name is Kim and I'm a lead user support analyst with ESSA Health. Today I'd like to take a few minutes to go over the patient portal with you to better help you use its functions. You can start by going to the ESSA Health website at www.essahealth.com. Once the website opens, you will notice there is a place for the patient portal. If you have not registered, you can click here to register for the patient portal. If you have already registered, you just want to click on the login button. The login screen will appear. You want to put in your username and your password. Clicking login will take you to a screen where it will ask for your security question. Let's take a quick look at the portal screen once it is open. From this page you can see any messages that you have in your inbox. You can also see any upcoming appointments you may have as well as any reminders that have been set for you. If you come down to the left, you will see your results. These are your lab results. By hitting the view results, you should be able to view your results from here. It will take you to this screen, which will show you different sections of your chart that you can go to. We clicked on the results. Here are our results for our different tests that have happened. It shows the test name, the date, and the results. You can also view your vitals from here. You can view all sections of your chart by clicking on the different headers on the left-hand side. If we return back home, <clears throat> by clicking the back arrow, you will return to your home screen. Your next section is your mail section. You see you have an inbox, you have sent items, and you have composed message. To view items in your inbox, you will click on your inbox. You will see all past records and emails that have been sent to you. If you go back to the mail and you hit compose message, you are free to compose a message to your provider. It is important that you look at the send on behalf of section and select someone from here. It could very well be just you shows up here or you may be a care manager for a mother, a father, or a child. You want to select whoever it is who you are sending the request on behalf of. The next section is your category section. You are able to ask questions regarding billing, medical advice, your prescriptions, you can request a referral, and you can also request an appointment you want to select the subject at which your message is about. The next section is the to section. You want to select the provider for whom you are sending this message to. The subject field is a free text field. You are free to type in here whatever you would like. You then have your message section. This is where you are going to type your message to the provider regarding the concern that you have. Once you are finished, you will go ahead and you will hit the submit button. There is a disclo disclaimer down at the bottom that you will need to look at. The portal is used for messages that are not considered emergent. It may take up to 24 hours to receive a response from your provider. It is important that if this is an emergency that you reach out to the provider by phone. It will then let you know that your message has been successfully sent. The next tab that I'd like to look at is your schedule. If you click on the schedule tab, it will show you all appointments, upcoming appointments that you may have. The next section is my chart. My chart is something that I'd like to make you familiar with. When you hit view my chart, it will take you to your chart as we previously looked at. 
the my chart button will show you everything that you have the ability to view you do have the ability to view all records within your chart however after each visit preferably two or three days later you have to request a health record in order for your chart to update clicking on the request health record will allow you to update your medical records after your last visit you will come to this screen you will click the button and then you will hit submit it will submit and it will pull back a CCD from our system that will update your chart again where it states patient you need to make a selection if you are caring for more than just yourself if you are a care manager for a child a parent you would want to select their name if it's for yourself you select self you would hit the submit button and it would request an updated CCD so that your chart will be up to date you can see here your request has been submitted successfully it may take up to 24 hours before you will receive this updated information in your chart there is also a statements button you can pay any balances due through the portal it will show you all of your past balances it will let you view your last statement view your statement history it will also let you view online payments it will show you if you have a balance and you can click the pay now button and it will take you to the screen where you will enter your information in full you can hit submit and you have paid your bill online there is a renew medications section that you may go to to renew your medications again you will want to make sure and select who you are refilling the medications for is it for yourself or is it for another family member once you have made that selection you can go down to the reason you would like to do it a renewal of ongoing medications if you're requesting a new medication by selecting one of these you would then select who you'd like to send this information to again this should be your primary care doctor or the provider who has prescribed the medication you can then type in a, in a comment on why you would like to have this medication refilled then you can select your pharmacy information your pharmacy information comes in by default if this is not the pharmacy that you would like you can select a different pharmacy you can search for a different pharmacy you can also add a new pharmacy by clicking either by button it will take you where you need to be you can also select the medication that you would like if you click on the select different medication it will give you a list of all your current medications you will then click on the medication that you would like to renew and hit the select button you can choose as many medications as you need by repeating that process once you have finished selecting medication pharmacy who your refill request needs to go to you will hit the submit button and it will submit that request again please note the patient portal is for non-emergent items we usually require 24 hours for a refill that will be done through the patient portal the last item that I'd like to take a look at with you is the patient education looking at the patient education can give you some good information and help you answer some questions on what you may or may not want to do regarding your current symptoms there is a symptom checker there is a patient education there is a medications field and there are health decision tools health decision tools can be used to help you decide what the best option is for you clicking on the health decision tools will take you to a screen where you will type in or search for what the item is that you have questions about so if I had questions about a hip replacement and I type that information in and hit search the system will give me choices to choose from is this a partial hip replacement a total hip replacement 
Is it because I have arthritis and that may help me? It gives you several different choices here. Choosing one of these will then take you to an overview, what to expect after surgery, what you will be able to do or not be able to do after the, after the surgery, what to expect when you leave the hospital, continued recovery, how to live with a hip replacement, why we do it, how well it works, what the risks are that are involved, and what you should think about. So this is a good document for you to review or a good tool resource for you to use when trying to make the decision with your provider if this is a good thing for you or not. I recommend using this, taking a look. It will tell you what it feels your reasons for, if they're good, bad, or otherwise. It will ask you questions that will help you make a better decision regarding this procedure and if that is something you should do or not.